it comes to power electronic devices such as converters and various types of other devices that converts AC to DC the first thing that comes to your mind would be the rectifier and the single phase full bridge rectifier and why not that's the most simplistic circuit design that converts AC to DC just add a transformer that steps down the 230 volt AC to require DC levels and well you're good to go so nevertheless, I've been asked this question, why use SMPS or adapter instead of a rectifier? Well, for those of you who don't know, this is a rectifier circuit and the circuit weighs around 700 grams for 2 amperes supply for 24 volts. Overall, this is a 48 watt power supply with the output being DC. Here is the AC side of the circuit and here is the DC side of the circuit. The main advantage of an adapter and an SMPS for this purpose is that, well, you can see adapters can grow from this to the size of the mobile charger like this. The point of view is plain and simple. As you increase the supply frequency, the inductance of the system drops and basically the size of the transformer used drops so the size and the weight considerations are reduced and the dimensions are reduced other than that there is something called the frequency considerations and the efficiency model of the system you see this although being a power equipment this one is also a power equipment however more efficient than this one the biggest problem that hits its efficiency is the no load losses by the capacitor as you can see here is the cylindrical element right here i don't know if you can see it properly or not but between the wires is the cylindrical element is the electrolytic capacitor which is basically for filtering purpose and i've intentionally used 330 microfarad for that purpose and as for a size comparison this also uses a capacitor however it uses a 25 microfarad capacitor difference is basically this circuit uses 50 hertz frequency which is a low frequency operation and this circuit uses some 4 kilohertz operation frequency this causes the ripples to get cancelled out automatically requiring a less capacitance capacitor and thus having lower no load losses you see what happens is at no load if there is no load connected however the capacitor acts as the load and does the job of shifting the power factor at the AC side and also drawing no load current additionally this big ass transformer gives it core loss and overheating of the circuit with no load and thus drops the no load efficiency also it has its own copper losses this transformer also has its copper losses but that those are way less as compared to its efficiency of operation so as compared to this guy, I'll be using this circuit to basically test the operating points of the circuit for my next project. So that is all for today guys. If you learned something new from this video, consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And that's it for today. Bye bye. Oh good, you're still here. Very well. Let's check out this new videos right here. You can click on any of these two videos and check out my channel.